I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to add a user to your Office 365 tenancy. Click on the Admin button here. If you're in the Office 365 portal here, or of course in the navigation, you have it here too. Ignore the setting up. That's just temporary for now. You go to the Office 365 Admin Center. If you don't see that link, then you don't have permission to reach it. So you need to have enough permissions, of course, to do this. So to add a user, you get right to it here. I'm going to click away this welcome screen here. Users, that's the first thing you do. You, of course, also have it here under the users here. So you can go into active users and click add a user. But as you saw, I had it on the home page, the same kind of thing. Add a user and this dialog pops up and you can just type in the information. So I'm going to type in a typical Swedish example name, Kalle Kula. And I'm just going to just going to log in as Kalle.kula. And he's in Sweden because that's the, where the company is. And you can get a, an auto generated password or you can enter one, or, and you can also select whether to make the user change their password when they first sign in. By default, the user is an ordinary user, does not have any roles, but if you want, you can of course go ahead and give the user a global administrator, then have, they have permissions for everything, or a customized administrator, then you can select only certain parts that they can administer. But Kalle in this case is not going to have any permissions. By default, you get the Office 365 Enterprise license here, but you can also select others if you have others, other licenses. So I'm just going to click Add there. And here is the user uh, display name, the username, and the new password. As you see, the password here is are very easy to communicate. Those can actually be read over the phone if you want to. So this is practical, and you also get the, the option to send the password in an email to my email address by default, but you can enter another one also. The next steps is add another one or add this user to groups and edit details and so on. There are a lot more details that you can store in the user profile. That concludes my demo on how to add a user. Thank you for watching.